This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. Who's this? Wanted. Purple hair. For public disorder, sedition and assaulting a prize-winning miniature pincher. Who's this? Wanted. Purple hair. For public disorder, sedition and assaulting a prize-winning miniature pincher. What's up, kid? Have you seen those wanted posters? You ask a lot of questions, kid. Like I said, it's Purple here. He's a dangerous criminal on the loose. You'd think the security cops would be too busy to harass honest Havajet pilots. But no. I'll leave you alone. Keep out of trouble, kid. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again.
Go ahead, Dr. Dijon. That guy by the hover jet looks suspicious. Haven't you seen the posters? The suspect we're looking for has purple hair. Good luck. Thank you, son. The security cops posted it. I get in trouble for messing with it. I should do some research on the mummy that just came in. I need to find out about this Jimmy Hoffer if I'm going to identify his remains. There's got to be some archived photo from the period. All right, let's see. I love research. I'll enter the data that appeared in the field report. Two images found for United States and Truckers Union. There is no cross-reference for the terms Jimmy Hoffer or 1950 to 2000. We recommend that you perform a manual search to optimize the results. Only two matches. Not a great start. I'll have to continue the search manually. Which of these two images could bring me closer to Jimmy Hoffa? Maybe this picture has something to do with Jimmy Hoffa and the truckers union. Okay, I'll choose the yellow truck. That could be Jimmy Hoffa's hand. Who knows? A very old technology ad. I've definitely strayed from the path. I'm starting over. I'm gonna try the wheel. Tickets to a 2150 fair. Hoffa lived about 200 years earlier. I'm getting too far away. I'm going to start over. I'll try the red trucks. I want to see more puppies. I like this one. Huh. I was hoping to see more puppies. I'm going to start again. I don't think this search will lead me to Jimmy Hoffa. A horse? It's weird. But maybe it has something to do with Jimmy Hoffa. There's a wheel, but I don't think that means that this girl is a member of the transport union. This isn't what I was looking for. I swear it. I'm going to start again and erase the search history. It seems to be related to the union, but it says 1888 in the photo. No, no, no. This comes from way before Hoffa's time. I'm getting off the subject. Let's see where the magazine takes me. Hmm. The dates look right. I don't know if Hoffa was famous and dangerous, let alone a gangster. Jimmy Hoffa, 1975. I can't believe it. Is that really Hoffa? I'm going to print it. Looks like his killer took a picture of him just before the assassination. Ugh. I can't take it with me. According to the report, I can only handle samples that come in units of more than one, and I still don't know if this is the bogus sample. Maybe I'll find some link between the photo and this sample. It's the same shirt he's wearing in the picture. This is what Hoffa wore on the last day of his life. I'm going to mark this sample as authentic. It's the same sandwich Hoffa's eating in the photograph. Ugh. It didn't look very appetizing in the 1970s either. Hoffa's last meal. I'm going to mark this sample as authentic.
The hair color matches, but that's inconclusive. I'm going to take a strand for analysis. The drawer is in it's meant to be. Frida! What can you tell me about this sample? Human hair. Do you need a dating? No, a date isn't enough. I need to know if it belongs to a particular sample collection. Well, if you have contextual data, I could do a component analysis. If the components of the hair match the authentic samples, you'll know it's genuine. That sounds perfect. I'll leave you to it. What do you need? What about the neural colloid? The what or what -oid? The chemical reagent that facilitates component analysis? I thought you'd have some. How could I have some? I assumed you would. I have some. Okay, so could we use yours? No way! It's the only reagent I have left from the little princess's first chemistry set I got when I was six. It has sentimental value. I'll pay for it. Last time you said that, you paid me in glitter. I thought you liked glitter. The Lil Princess first chemistry set was overrated. It's not a patch on the Lil Princess's first archaeological survey kit. Maybe not, but it meant the most to me. Please, please, please. I don't know, Henry. That chemistry set is a collectible now. I owe you one. You already owe me about four favors. Speaking of princesses, have I ever told you how beautiful you are under the ultraviolet radion lights? No, you haven't. That's very flattering and inappropriate in the workplace. I... <laughs> no, no. You know I can't stand to see a grown archaeologist cry. I'm not crying. I can see you crying. You win. I'll use the last of my neural colloid. Give me a sec. Well, the sample appears to contain traces of oil, CO2, gunpowder, and shampoo. Does that help? Gunpowder? The report said Hoffa was shot in the head. Thanks, Frida. I'm glad it helped. I can mark the hair sample as authentic. I can't take it with me. According to the report, I can only handle samples that come in units of more than one, and I still don't know if this is the bogus sample. I don't think I'll find anything else. I can't take it with me. According to the report, I can only handle samples that come in units of more than one, and I still don't know if this is the bogus sample. The gases in the container are neutral and unreactive. They're there to preserve fines. The drawer is infused with a pres- It's meant to be- The drawer- It's meant to be hard. About the contents of the drawer. I don't know much about them, but go ahead. Tell me what you know about the mummy. 
you know, for the record. I can only tell you what it said in the note. Apparently, the authenticity of the finds is in question. The team who found the mummy messed up and included an item that didn't come from the site. We'll have to work out which item is the odd one out and separate it from the rest. I'll be back when I know something. See you later, man. Frida! Enjoy your break. Frida, enjoy your break. Frida. Go ahead, Henry. You're a mummy expert. Can you give me a hand? I guess so. I found this picture of a 20th century mummy which has just been discovered. That's not a mummy, Henry. Well, not yet. He became a mummy after the picture was taken. Let me see that. What do you need to know? Anything that can help me identify the remains would help. It's hard to say much without being able to dissect his brain. I only have the photo. Pity. It's a little discolored, but I'd say the subject had skin type Delta. That was rare for the 20th century. The subject would have had light eyes and freckles in the form of a constellation. Plus an 80% likelihood of hay fever and a 30% chance of enjoying folk music. Science is amazing. So, freckles in the form of a constellation. Here, this reference chart might help. Thanks again, Frida. The gases in the container, they're there to preserve. According to Frieda, Jimmy Hoffa's skin should have this freckle formation. I'll compare them. There's a match. The top right constellation. This skin sample really belonged to Jimmy Hoffa. I'll leave Frieda's chart next to the sample. Case closed. The mystery is solved. I can take the bogus sample.
If all the other samples are authentic, then the finger must be the bogus sample. It's elementary. Could be useful. I could alter the temperature of the chromatic thermometer. I should be able to make it reach purple. Now I need to add a reference sample. Micro, what happened to the lab icebox? It went kablooey in the last blackout. Sorry, I can't get spare parts until next week. You'll have to find a refrigerant somewhere else. Hmm. I'd rather not start desperately flinging things at the tree. I'd rather not start desperately flinging things at the tree. This icicle is lower than the rest, but I still can't reach it. I don't think I can lower the branch, but maybe I can lower the icicle. Maybe I can hang the lab coat where the icicle formed. Here goes nothing. I don't know if it'll work, but it's been fun. It's solid ice. I can't break it with my hands. This can't fail. Okay, not as cold as I expected, but it worked. The ice cubes have changed the color of the thermometer. I knew carrying a frozen finger was a good idea. Arctic fresh gum, but I think it needs to be chewed to unleash its power. <laughs> wow, this stuff is powerful. It's unorthodox, but here goes. It worked. The temperature's gone down. Hmm, this eucalyptus breath spray might help. It worked. The temperature dropped. Purple! Amazing! But I don't want to take the thermometer out. It'll return to room temperature and the liquid will change color. I just want to take the liquid inside. I should use a sealable container. The color will fix on contact with air and it stains terribly.
This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. These bits of metal are very similar to the illustrations in the lockpicking book. There we go. Now I should be able to open any lock. At least, any lock from 3,000 years ago. I hope Trevor's work wasn't in vain. Careful. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Huh? Ugh. 
Well, there's no denying that the door is open. Great. There's one survival kit in there. I'd better get out of here before anyone sees me. Let's see. I still need to find out where Total's being taken and find a ride. I have nothing against skeletons, but I'd rather print a real face. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. They are essential supplies for survival outside our enclave. No one can leave Honeycomb City without one of these kits. Now that we've got it, we can go get Total. For the attention of Dr. Shale and Dr. Ruby. They must be in the geology department. I've got to go. Let me know if you need anything else. Go ahead, Dr. Dijon. That guy by the hover jet looks suspicious. Haven't you seen the posters? The suspect we're looking for has purple hair. Good luck. Thank you, sir. What's up, kid? I need your hover jet. No can do. Why would I leave Sector 2? Nobody knows me here. Nobody's looking for me. Not that they're looking for me anywhere else, you understand. I'm just an honest hover jet pilot. Have you seen those wanted posters? You ask a lot of questions, kid. Like I said, it's purple here. He's a dangerous criminal on the loose. You'd think the security cops would be too busy to harass honest hover jet pilots. But no. I'll leave you alone. You never saw me. Is that for me, kid? No, no, no. It's mine. Do you recognize this person? If he hasn't got purple hair, we're not interested. I don't want to draw on that. The security cops posted it. I get in trouble for messing with it. The security cops posted it. I get in trouble for messing with it. Who's this? Wanted. Purple hair. For public disorder, sedition and assaulting a... This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again.
This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. There's nothing interesting there. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. <laughs> 